Okay, so for our practice this afternoon, we're going to start with one block and we're going to use the block to release parts of the musculoskeletal tension at the base of the skull, at the most upper part of the neck. And then we're going to use two blankets, and for those of you who have a sandbag, and we'll have two blocks. So you'll see that practice after we get this release for the occipital ridge and the upper part of the neck muscles. So it goes like this. You can lie on your back with your block close by and with your knees bent. Now you're going to be placing the block in a few moments on the medium setting, which looks like this. And the beveled edge of the block is what we'll be using. If you don't have a block like this with the beveled edge, you can roll up your yoga mat very snugly and use that in place of a block. So what I'm going to do is take this under the base of the skull like this so that the head is elevated. I'm managing the waiting room. I'm not checking my text messages. Let's see if I can do it from here. Because there's... Hmm. Okay, I have to actually get up to do it. I don't know why. So what you guys are going to do is first rest here with the base of the skull at the edge of the block and make some very tiny rotations of the head, just really small, left to right. And please keep them small for where we're going. So those little movements that you make left to right. Just think about moving the nose, actually. And if you're using the rolled yoga mat, you can do the same. Keep it tiny at first. So there's just this gentle excursion to each side of the neck where your neck meets the, meets the occiput. And have the eyes closed and begin breathing into the sensations where the block or the yoga mat are touching the base of your skull. And let your rocking side to side get a little bit larger, so slightly more right and slightly more left. As you're going side to side, I recommend that you do go slowly enough that it really feels nurturing. There's no sense of it being rushed or urgent. And the next time you're rolling your nose to the left, let the distance get a little bit bigger. And same when you go to the right. To the best of your ability, rotate your head. A couple times more, the distance to your left, the distance to your right, as nurturing and kind as you can do. And then the next time that you find yourself bringing your head over to your left, go ahead and stay there. Open your right arm out to the side and invite your right shoulder to relax down towards the floor. As you keep your nose rotated to the left, just breathe in to the right side of your neck like you're inflating a little balloon, a little balloon of kindness and love. Now with your head turned to the left, start to make some very gentle nods of the head like you're bringing the chin in towards your left collarbone, slightly up. These are just very tiny nods of the head.
then slowly roll your head back to center and roll as far as you comfortably go to your right. Open your left arm out to the side. And at first you can just breathe into the left side of your neck and allow that to be like a gesture of kindness again or love. And then you can add these little tiny nods of the head so your chin comes down towards your right collarbone and up slightly, down and in slightly, and slowly. And then roll that also back to center. Please reach up and take the block out from under your head and rest your head back and down and just notice the warmth that might come. That warmth is likely the recirculation into those pressure points. And then please roll to your side and I'll show you here how we're going to set up. So that is a release for your neck. And now we're going to use the blankets and the sandbag to support the mind to also abate its incessant <laughs> whirling. So take a blanket please like this and fold it length to length in half. Place that down your yoga mat like so. Set up your two blocks. You don't know what those are going to be used for, but you'll see it very soon. Put your sandbag within reach. And take this blanket and roll it for your knees. So when I sit, I sit in front of this blanket, not on it. This blanket comes under the knees. I got mine a little bit unrolled, so I'm going to roll it again. And then when you're lying back, you want the two blocks to be here alongside your head. And the first thing you're going to do is make a little curl of the blanket under your neck so it's very comfortable and it should shape to the curve of your cervical spine. Then you take off your glasses. And you want these two blocks to be on either side of the head because we're going to take this adorable sandbag <laughs> and replace it over the forehead and onto the two blocks so that the weight of the sand is actually resting on the two blocks and then this little bit of gentle weight that goes on the head. And what you can do is you move the sand out to the blocks using your fingers like this so it goes left and right and you put as much weight off of the forehead into the blocks as you would want and then close your eyes and if you'd like to darken the eyes you can also put something over like a blanket or a shawl or an eye pillow So the little curve of blanket under the neck, even without your sandbag, that's still going to be a gesture of like kindness for the neck to feel really held right now. If you did add the sandbag and you sense that how the weight is there to sort of quiet the mind, let's all begin now at the center of the eyebrows to soften the habit of holding tension. What you can do is imagine breathing into the space between the eyebrows 
And let the breath be an invitation to soften the habit of holding. And on the exhale, invite there to be a release of the habit of holding right between the eyebrows. And do that about three or four times that your inhale goes to the space right between the eyebrows and the exhale allows that space to soften. And then bring awareness down into your throat. Include the tongue, the throat, the muscles at the front of your neck, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck. And imagine the inhale is dedicated to the region of the throat. And the exhale is an invitation to release the habit of holding at the throat. And do that twice more and inhale to the throat, the tongue, the base of your skull, your neck. And exhale, invite that to relax. And then breathing in to the heart, now bring awareness down to the heart center. Include the back of your shoulder blades, the space between your shoulder blades, the front of the heart, the interior of the heart. And as you breathe in to the heart center, let the inhale come as a gesture of kindness or love. And the exhale to release the habit of holding even in the heart.
breath can be really simple. And bring awareness down to the solar plexus, down to the third chakra. So continue to relax the place between your eyebrows, your throat, your heart, front, back, and inner. And then notice the third chakra, the solar plexus. As you inhale, gently expand your floating ribs. And then exhale and invite that to soften. And do that about five times more, really slowly. That the inhale is able to express itself in the solar plexus, your floating ribs, your kidneys, the liver, the spleen. And exhale to release the tension that no longer needs to be held. And then allow your awareness to travel down from the solar plexus into the place between your belly button and your pubic bone from the left hip to the right hip and near to your sacrum. This is called the second chakra. And invite the breath to come down into your lower abdomen so it gently spreads out this message of kindness or love. And the exhale in an invitation for the release of tension. Just imagine the second chakra receiving the inhale, nourishing, kind. And on the exhale, softening the habit of holding tension, even in the deep low belly. And then bring awareness down to the first chakra, so we say down to the tailbone, the base of the spine, the pubic bone. And just imagine on the inhale, again, like a gentle expansion. And the exhale to release the, the habit of holding tension. And allow your body to relax, no need to guide the breath, nor the mind. Let all four limbs relax out to your fingers and toes.
You can imagine the inner body now like a river, a beautiful river that has these little villages or destinations we just visited. The eyebrows, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, the deep belly, the base of the pelvis. Now imagine your inner body like a river. Everything flowing smoothly. You might even visualize a river that you actually know. river, this gentle current or undulation. If you were a boat on this river, you would feel the waves in a rhythm that is like love or grace. of the water, the boat of your body, the resolution of tension, the return of harmony and ease. Find yourself 
resting. Now with one or both hands, both hands ideally, you may reach up and gently push the sandbag backwards or lift it evenly from your head and then lay it to the side. and let yourself rest with the absence of the sandbag. And then allow a slightly deeper breath in, down into the lower belly. Inadaga. 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 Emma Doga Then you can lightly wiggle your fingers and your toes. And bend one knee at a time. Please roll to your side before you come back up to sitting. Turn to sitting, it's possible that you'll watch or feel your body recalibrating still from the sandbag over the forehead. You'll try to sense the possibility of this inner stream of connection and quiet. And see if in any way it helps you to feel connected not only to your own essence but connected to all that is and all that has been and all that will be. And bring your hands together at your heart. You can sing with me if you like. Imadaga. 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 Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.